Meanwhile, the Senate has called for stiffer punishment for violation of construction and building codes in the country. This is in a bid to contain growing cases of collapsed buildings. The Senate's resolution was reached in Abuja. The senators debated a matter of urgent public importance on the collapse of Saint Academy in Joss, Plateau State. The school, which collapsed on the 12th of August, claimed the lives of 22 students and members of staff while other 100 sustained varying degrees of injuries. Senator Deket Plang, who moved the motion, recalled how the sad incident altered the lives of many parents, families and the governments of the state. The two-story building of Sen Academy School, Busabuji, in just not local government area, one of the local government areas of Plateau North Senatorial District collapsed, thereby killing not less than 24 students and staff members, while more than a hundred victims were rescued from the debris and at, from the debris with bodily injuries of virus degrees, said it not with utmost sadness that it was a depressing sightseeing as healthy and agile children who left home to write their examinations in the said school were unfortunately returned to their parents as dead bodies. Contribution to the motion concerned lawmakers suggested drastic actions against building collapse. The architects that supervise the construction of their building, the building engineers that supervise the building should be brought to book. Probably this is the only way we can stop this from happening. What we can do as a national parliament that regulate the various uh, institutions is to see what we can do to tinker with the law such that if you design a building and you are obliged to supervise the construction, should the building collapse within a certain number of years, you are liable not only to withdraw your license, you are liable to prosecution. What we are witnessing here is that people who are employed to render these services both in the approving authorities and in the construction and the supervision, they have abandoned their duties. And when people are killed, nobody is shown to have been humiliated or punished for professional negligence. In his remark, President of the Senate, Senator Godzilok Babio, condoled with the family of the deceased students and members of staff, government and the people of Plateau over the collapse. In addition to observing a minute of silence in honor of the deceased, lawmakers urged the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to dispatch relief and further called on the federal government agencies to mobilize to just and provide medical assistance to the victims. I want us to condone with all Nigerians, sympathize with the President Bola Tinubu and all Nigerians over the tragic incidents in Jos not limited to Plateau State alone, but to the whole nation. And pray that God will uh, accept the souls of these children and then condole the families. And at the same time, uh, we must also, as the Senate, take measures to ensure that we enforce these resolutions to avoid further loss of lives through building collapse in Nigeria. However, the Senate specifically recommended stiffer penalties for anyone involved in violating building regulations, urging Plateau State's government to conduct a full investigation and bring to book all those found.